the journal by julian kern read by julian kern melissa opened her journal and wrote the date in her best handwriting every day she had forced herself to complete a summary of the day as a teenager there was plenty to write about and for melissa awash with swirling hormones every day was emotional her journal was a form of therapy as she turned 13 and her periods started, it coincided with a time at school where other girls had been really bitchy. Even her so-called friends had turned their back on her. She was on her own. The result had been a bathroom rendezvous with a razor blade and the start of a journey of self-harm. The psychologist who had seen it all before had suggested the journal. It's a way to externalise your inner thoughts, he told her. And just writing them down is a form of catharsis. You could even annotate each day with an emoji, depending how you feel. Melissa wasn't sure she knew what he was talking about, but she liked the idea of a diary, but not the emojis, which she thought sounded a bit childish. Instead, she would write her day using different coloured inks. She had a pencil case full of different pens, which her nan had given to her for her birthday. If she was sad, it would be blue ink. Gold would be happy. Green would represent something new, but red would be for a really special day. She had read that the Romans marked their calendars with a red letter to signify an important event, giving rise to the expression red letter day. She had been keeping her journal for a full month now, but each day was described in blue ink. So much sadness so much angst but today was different she had met a new friend at school they had walked home together and anna had invited her in they had listened to music and laughed how they laughed that night she wrote in red pen describing her day with anna the day her journal changed color 